welcome to another video blog. Uh, today's gonna be a really simple piece on a topic that I know is really important to a lot of leaders and it's about this thing called empowerment, uh, which is around providing autonomy. So it's gonna do a really short piece on some very, very simple ways we can properly empower our people. Now the word empowerment, I know it's a bit of a buzzword and gets used, uh, used quite a lot, but to keep it really simple, what are we talking about? We're talking about our people feeling that they've got ownership for their role. And the reason that's important is we know that when people have got ownership for their role and feel they've got a level of autonomy, they're much more engaged in the way they come to work. So what we're gonna be talking about now is just some really simple ways to actually provide effective empowerment to your team and your people. To do it, two really simple things that we need. For a person to take ownership and feel empowered, the first thing they need is a purpose. And the second thing they need is a framework. So we talk about purpose, and this is the thing that often gets uh, missed, okay, that's so why we want to start with that. The purpose means we're explaining the reason why for something. Making sure before a person starts a new role, moves into a project team, gets promoted, whatever it is, starts a new job, they actually understand the reason why this thing is there. So in terms of giving them a purpose, a few things that you need to do. First of all, make sure they understand the purpose of the role. And the second thing with that, they need to understand how the purpose of that role fits with the goals of the business or the goals of the team. So taking that moment to explain why do we even have this role in the first place? When do we decide to have this role? How long has this position been around? What's the history of this position? Where does this position, this role fit within the structure of the team or the structure of the business? And how does that then connect with the strategy of the business and what the business is trying to achieve or the, the business model overall? It's just making sure they understand that. Here's why you're here and here's how you fit within the bigger picture. Second thing is we've got to make sure we've got to give them a framework, okay? If we're talking about empowerment, what we're asking them to do is to take responsibility for their accountability. So what we've got to do is give them the framework of that accountability, okay? To do that, a few things we need. The thing we're to give them to start off with is make sure we talk to our people about the outcomes of the role. All right, so what I mean by outcomes is what are the things that this role needs to achieve? All right, and that's as opposed to only talking to somebody about the tasks and activities of the role. So what we want to do is always start at that very high level. Okay, What are the big things that this role needs to achieve? They're the outcomes. Next thing is to talk about the decisions that this role and therefore this person is able to make. Empowerment is actually about what can you decide to do? What are the decisions that you own? Right? If we've sort of got a scenario where a person's got to check certain things, always come back and check with the manager, run things by, copy people on emails, that we haven't quite got that empowerment, there's gonna be some ambiguity around what actually is it that I really own here? So being really clear, these are all the decisions that you can make. Next is to make sure, including those first two, that they understand the pillars of the role. So what we mean by the pillars of the role, what are the non-negotiables? So what are, it's almost like one of the things I talk about is the difference between bricks and paint when it comes to a house. You know, paint's the sort of thing that you can decide you want to put a different colour in the lounge room or paint the outside a different colour, a different shade, depending on how you're feeling, okay? But the bricks are the things that you actually don't change. They're the things that are locked in. So making sure they understand what are the pillars of the role. So these are the cornerstones of the things you don't really change. These are the things you've got to make sure you get right all of the time. What that then does, it allows you to move on to the next part, which is around the freedoms that the person has. So give them a scope for new ideas. What are the areas where they can push the boundaries? What are some of the things that they can challenge? Uh, and where can they be a bit proactive and making sure they understand that? These are the things they've got to make sure they get right all the time. These are the things where we'd love to see them bring their own ideas to it. And the final part in terms of a framework for them to feel empowered was got to under, they've got to understand how you intend to follow through. So what's the, what's the method or what's the rhythm for accountability? So what are the check-ins going to look like? How often are you going to catch up? How are they going to be held accountable? Where do, they need, where do they need to be presenting their accountability? So what's the rhythm that they're going to find themselves in for the follow-through on all the things that you're empowering them with? Really simple. Make sure they've got a, they understand the purpose and make sure they've got a really clear framework. They're much more likely to take ownership. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon.